Well, hello everyone, it's Michelle, the Stamp Breaker, and I'm here today to do a layout for Keep It Simple. Um, we are doing a Christmas in July hop, and so I decided to pull out this paper pack. It might have come out last year, but it's new to me because um, I didn't know about it last year. So I got the six by nine, and I got the pattern paper, and then I got the matching cardstock. All in six by nine and so um, I decided to uh, make two by six strips here and they're gonna be straight here and then we have a couple of photos um, so let me show you something kind of cool how I cut this paper so when it doesn't have Okay, so this paper with the snowmen and the trees and the stockings is directional, but like this is not. So what I did is I took it to my trimmer and I cut it at six inches. So I had a six by six piece and a three by six piece. And so originally I was um, gonna cut from this end, the strips, but, um, but I realized I didn't need to do that because I had this three by six over here that left me with a six by six scrap. So on the three by six, I cut it in half again and that made my one and a half inch strips so I thought that was a little bit of paper shaving saving and then I have been guilty of forgetting what is on the back side and like say these are front and back cutting into this paper cutting into this paper instead of realizing this I could just cut into one so I feel like I did good on that um, but this paper I did have to cut a little differently because I wanted it because it came like this as a six by nine. So I had to go ahead and cut into the six inches, but that's okay. So let me tell you about my photos. I have a couple of photos of Mr. Finley and he, this was in 2022 and he was just a year old. He was born in December of 2021. And these are taken on two different days, like maybe the 16th and the 18th of December, but he's sound asleep with the tree in the background and here the tree in the background um, you can tell it looks kind of cold outside and so what I did is I used my um, print to size app which is a really cool app on my phone where you can it goes beyond like just a collage app like Project Life, but on here you can actually choose the exact size of your photos. So I knew I wanted three by four ish. So what I did is I printed these at two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Then to save on white cardstock, I have this whole bag of different sized photo placeholders left over from Close to My Heart workshops. And this is exactly three by four. So what I did is I made sure these were a quarter inch less. And then I matted them on this white so that I have so many to use. I mean, this isn't even all of them, people. And they're all they're all different sizes. I have four by six, five by seven, four by four, three by three, three by four, um, two by two. I think that's it. So, um, with this collection, it came, I got, um, a die cut ephemera pack and it's, there's two different ones and one is all gnomes and this is Santa's and trees. So then I took it and I kind of divided it up kind of by theme on this little tray. Then I decided that I needed a doily. So at first I went with this size. Wasn't sure what size, I, what color, so I cut it in red and blue. Then I thought, no, it needs to be bigger. So I went with this size, but the red wasn't quite right. So I ended up with this color. So I'm gonna focus on the red, blue, and then this kind of khaki color. All right. Now, my plan is to, since I did not get the 12 by 12 paper, I like to frame my papers a lot of time, the whole layout, but I don't have, and 
matching paper, so I'm like, no worries. I picked up this stamp set from Keep It Simple. They have a whole set of busy hands, and this is a four by six stamp set. It's called Christmas Moose. Now, I do have some layouts planned with the moose, but not today, but I'm gonna use it for this little border, and I'm gonna stamp around the outside, and I think in black, because there is black in this collection. So here is the stamp set. And then I also have this one. It's so cute with the bear. And I see in the holly and the berries could very well be added to this layout. And then there's this one that is a stocking with a moose in it. Well, no, sorry, a reindeer, reindeer in a stocking. And it also has some cute little borders. One is a scallop, a tiny little scallop, and one are these little pennants or banners or flags. I love the quality of these stamps. It feels exactly the same as using my Close to My Heart stamps. Now here is my die cut piece of Santa and Friends, and it came with three three by four cards, and then all of this ephemera. And so, what I need to do, I'm thinking I'm going to put these down at two, at the two inch mark on this Versa mark. But before I do that, I'm going to stamp. So I've done a lot of stuff ahead of time, but I have saved the stamping for you guys. I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black. I really think I need to get a, a refill for this. Do they make a refill? I've had this for a long time. I guess before Close My Heart came out with Intense Black and, um, then I stopped using it, but now Close My Heart is not in business anymore. I've been using it and I like it. It cleans off my stamps better. Now I'm using this stamp block from Close My Heart and it has a line here that you can follow. So let me stamp one more time on the scotch piece of paper and see how straight it is. Let me put it here on the edge. I think it'll work. I think it's cute. It's just like a little S, a little swirl. So it looks like it's four inches long because it wasn't quite, yeah, it wasn't quite long enough for, I have a one by three and a half inch block, but it was just not quite long enough. And I got it a little blurry right there when I lift it up. So, but you know what? I'm not striving per, per, per for perfection. Um, here we go. Okay, so, you know what I like to do? I like to take some glue dots that are removable and put one here. And then one here. And then that keeps my paper from slipping and doesn't damage it. All right. 
Now, I'm going to take my T square. I'm going to set it here at two. And it doesn't have to be exactly at two. It's just that I want them all the same wherever they are. So is anyone else pulling out any Christmas themed paper for um, making some Christmas layouts in July? We're less than half a year on our way to the next Christmas. Isn't that crazy? Crazy, crazy. I was really gung-ho on scrapbooking Christmas photos after Christmas, and then I guess I just got sidetracked. Okay. I just repeated these four patterns. I really think this would be a cute collection for some snow photos. There are mittens, like on the back side of this paper, snowflakes, okay, so even though I measured, this is going to come off just a little, so I will trim it later. I'm not going to worry about that. Well, it does look a little crooked. What is that about? Even with the invisible ruler. Huh. Hmm. Well, let's see if that's crooked. Well, let's see. If you have to pull something up with ATG, just pull slowly. Let's see here. I just the whole thing is not quite straight for some reason. I'm not sure. these layouts that are kind of exact I find harder to do the more like organic layouts what about you like this hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. well you know what I think I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take my exacto knife And trim it up. Just being careful not to cut the cardstock underneath. There we go. And then this one. All right. Get careful with the exacto knife. Now, since I'm right-handed, I'm going to turn the whole way out. Let's see. All right. There we go. So this is what I'm thinking. My couch is old and you can see where the, and I got a little glue there. So I was originally gonna do kind of something like, I don't know, like this. You can fussy, or fussy around them all you want, but I think kind of maybe like that. Then it kind of hides that. 
Okay, now, why did I want a doily? Whoops, it's supposed to go underneath there. That is because I want to use it as like a tree skirt. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of it off. And I might can use this somewhere else. Let's see here, let me push this up and see. And then I have a tree. Cute, huh? I thought I would put these photos a little off, um, not straight since everything else is straight. And I have a Santa Claus. And then I have some gifts to go under the tree. All right. And then, I think this might have been more like that kind of had it figured out. I think, uh oh, I think this row of lights is going to go up here. And then I have this wreath. Hmm. And I was thinking, oh, let's see. Okay, here's another cool thing I used from Keep It Simple. There you go, it's hiding. Here it is. So they have a mason jar, a big die that makes a really cool mason jar. And with that, you can get these mason jar stamps and um, metal dies. So here are the stamps, here are the dies. I am about to place an order for some magnetic sheets to store all my dies on. And then it came with these hearts. As you can see, I use the hearts these little heart dies to cut out some hearts to scatter on the way out. All right. So that is what this is from. And I stamped it on one of the pattern papers with um, a grid. But that was really cool. It just says, many naps were taken on the couch by the Christmas tree this year. Now, are you wondering about my title? Me too. Me too. Check it out. It's going to be Christmas Naps. I love these fonts. Let me show you where I got Christmas. Christmas is from Melody Stories from Keep It Simple. And what's really cool is you can cut it twice. But you don't have to. See the G? Here's the outline. And there is the inside. And it's upper and lower case and numbers. It's got everything. It even has um, punctuation. I mean, it's got everything. I love this. And I also love to mix my fonts. So I made naps with this Twinkling Stars set. It has, and they both have stamps and then the dies. This is just uppercase, but I love it for like short words. And I cut them out three times and then I stacked them up and I glued them together. It really didn't take very long. Um, I even stacked up the dot to the eye. I just held it on with my Brutus Monroe sticky stamp mat. I don't know, it has lost a lot of its stick and I had, something stick to it and so I'm not quite sure um, if if maybe I what got it wet it would become sticky again kind of like a, a clear stamp I'm not sure so I think we'll put naps here on that and then we've got Christmas and Christmas could kind of go in a circle let's see what that looks like I'm not sure I'm not sure this is swinging it here. We'll just see how it looks. <laughs> not sure if I like this is the exact same color as this. Um, I was trying to kind of keep the colors separated. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe if I move it here. And I could switch out the mats here. And by the way, 
I use my We Are layering guide. I had got them last year, maybe for Christmas, I forget. And of course I didn't like them because I didn't really know how they wouldn't catch on the photos. Well, my friend Lisa Brooks over at Life and Layouts, she just put up a video. Well, by the time you see this video, it'll, it'll, it was in June. It's in June that I'm making this video. And um, she has the, she shows how to use it. So I'm going to, if I remember, let me write that down. Let me write it down right now. Link Lisa's video. It's a short and sweet, very informative how-to video. Okay, so I think it'll be like that. I got this, this is my largest embellishment cluster, and I am going to put some of this up on some foam tape. And then this, I don't really like it's the same color as that. Hmm. Let's see. What do y'all think? I don't, I feel like the Christmas is just kind of like loose, loose in space. I don't know. What do you think? It's kind of what it looks like to me. Like there's a shelf here for naps, but there's not a shelf for Christmas. So what if I put Christmas over here? You know, um, my friend Kelly Pyron, she has a YouTube channel. She's been busy teaching this whole year, but she talks about how this is just, this is like just a puzzle where you're just trying to figure out where everything fits. So it could go, go, could go like that, but you know what I think? I think up here needs some tags. Now the problem is I want my tags to go vertical and Christmas is long this way so I gotta think it through hmm and this could go over here just, just play around with it till you like what you see right I had a friend in college who and we went to went to college in the late 80s so it was still big hair big hair and um she would say if you like something if you see something you like spray it <laughs> I always think about her. So, um, I'm going to translate to that to this. If you see something you like, glue it. Just go ahead and glue it. And then you can't change your mind later. And maybe you don't need to change your mind, right? I was going to put this flower here. And let's see. Let me stand up and look at it. How, do you ever do that? I'm sitting, but I've got to stand and look down on it. Hmm. I feel like these are too high. They need to come down. That's what I feel. I do like that part of the doily underneath that part of the wreath. And I will cut that wreath and maybe I'll use it somewhere else. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. So that would be like this. Okay. And then this. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to go on this layout. I also have this. And I have the deer. I like things looking in. And so the sand is facing that way. And the deer could be over here. Let's see. Christmas. See, it'll be so much easier once I get them glued down, right? See, and I don't really like the red naps over this red, but it is, it's the same color, but it is a different pattern. 
this one, they're both tone on tone, but this one has very, very, um, very small pattern. Now, I cut out hearts with those dies that I was showing you from the mason jar, and I cut them out in three different colors, red, blue, and then this khaki again. So, I was just going to make, like, little clusters, and then each one alternates. Like, here, the big one is the khaki. Um, here, the big one is the blue. Sometimes you gotta kind of fiddle with them to see how you want them. And then I have one more set for here. And let's see, I guess it's this one. And then all the extras I cut, we'll just, I'll just put them in a little baggie and store them with this collection. I even made tiny little ones. I've thought about scattering around. Um, and then I pulled some enamel hearts. I think this blue matches and maybe even this one. And then um, maybe this isn't too dark. I think it might be it's really um, almost a burgundy. It might work. It's in the same color family. It's just a darker hue. And then I don't have any enamel hearts from Keep It Simple in this khaki color, but I do have these white clay hearts that I could use. Um, see, now that's four, and I don't like clusters of four. Are you like me? I like odd numbers. So I also have these, I think these are really cool. If you haven't checked out Keep It Simple's website, you need to go check out all of their, these are all called sprinkles and they're so cute. Now see, I think that might be a little too bright, but you never know till you try it, right? I also have these clay hearts. You see, they're a little bright too. So. think I'm gonna go with these you got to work with what you have am I right work with what you have yeah those look cute maybe I'll use both these colors of blue because um, there are more that there is more than one color of blue so I'm gonna glue it all down and I will come back with my final layout okay I got everything glued down and um, I changed my mind about what I wanted to use for the enamel hearts. I ended up using a few of these lighter blue ones, kind of as accents. Maybe I need to put a few here too. And then I realized that this kind of brownish color here was just a darker version of this kind of khaki color. So I put, um, so I had a group of five. I used five hearts in each cluster. Put a few things up on foam. I added the deer. And um, that is it, except for maybe I'll add some more dots, some hearts right there. So thank you for stopping by. Um, if you need to pick anything up at Keep It Simple, be sure and use my code STAMPBOOKER to get yourself 10% off. Who, who doesn't love a, a bit of a discount? Um, and if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll get back with you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.